Yeah. Students, I welcome you all for English revision class. So in today's class, I would like to revise the first unit that is Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. I know you all are familiar about this uh, first unit that is first poem Romeo and Juliet. So let us have a quick revision on this uh, unit. Fine. In this poem, we come across two important families that is Complex and Montagues. So Juliet belongs to the Complex family, Romeo belongs to Montague family. Okay. Since both are rival families, once Lord Complex organizes a party and Romeo attended that party in disguise, that is change in appearance. They may ask for one pass, how did Romeo attend the supper party? Romeo attended the supper party in disguise and he attended the supper party in disguise and why did he attend the supper party? To see Rosalind. They may ask for one pass. Okay. Just to meet or to see Rosalind, he attended the supper party. But fortunately, he saw Juliet on the dance floor and he was very much fascinated on her beauty. And there, okay, he saw that pure love in her. Okay, and he started okay describing her beauty. So that beauty is in the first you know, stanza that is here, the first ten lines. Okay, Romeo is going to describe. Juliet's beauty. So now let us have a revision on this. Okay, Juliet's beauty. Like how Romeo uh, now described Juliet's beauty. Hope you all have textbooks. Okay, here the first line. Oh, she doth teach the torches to burn bright. So torches to burn bright. So in that party hall we could notice the dim lights, and there we could you know. When Romeo saw Juliet, her beauty is brighter than those torches all around. That is, here we can see the comparison that Juliet's beauty is teaching all the torches how to burn bright. They may ask for one mask. So, how do, what does do Juliet teach the torches? What does do Juliet teach the torches? Juliet teach the torches to burn bright. So they will ask for one marks. Next, coming to the second line. It seems she hangs upon the cheek of night. Cheek of night means twilight night. Or we can call it as golden sunset also. So it looks like she, her beauty is hanging upon the cheek of night. Okay, cheek of night or twilight night. We call twilight night means it is nothing but when there is a shift from day to night. That time, that period we call it as twilight night. So, Juliet's beauty is hangs upon the cheek of the night and how does it look like? How does it look like? It looks like as a rich jewel in Ethiopia. It looks like a rich jewel in Ethiopia. Which means, okay, Juliet's beauty is compared to rich jewel in Ethiopia. Here, Ethiopia means African woman. Like how a gold, a diamond shines against the dark skin in the same way Juliet's beauty shines in that place, party all. Okay, so here writer has used the simile, they may ask for one mark, Juliet's beauty is compared to what? Juliet's beauty is compared to rich jewel in an Ethiopian sphere, rich jewel. Okay, hope you understood. Next. Beauty to reach for you, Earth to dear. So, Earth to dear means Julian's beauty is okay too rich to this earth. That is, our beauty is too rich to die and to be buried. They will ask for one marks. So, what is the meaning of beauty too rich for us for for use for Earth to dear? That is, our beauty is too rich on this earth to be buried. Next. So shows his snowy dove drooping with crows. So dove and crows are important in this line. That is, in that party hall, when Romeo saw that scene, so here it looks like snowy dove drooping with crows. That is, Juliet's beauty is Juliet is compared to snowy dove, snowy dove and drooping with crows. That is, her other dancers around her are compared to crows. 
that is if the sea looks like okay down is among crows okay they will ask for one marks so juliet is compared to snowy dove other dancers are compared to crows then as yonder lady over her fellow shows yonder lady so yonder lady is addressed to whom yonder lady is addressed to juliet okay they will ask for one marks yonder lady is addressed to whom yonder lady is addressed to juliet and her fellow shows which means that okay she is that is juliet is very much distinctive that is very different compared to all other dancers and the measure done i will watch a place of stand so measure done place of stand what is the meaning of measure here meaning of measure is dance once the dance gets over okay so i will watch a place of stand romeo wanted to watch a place of stand once the dance gets over romeo wanted to watch a place of stand place of stand means place of halt where she goes and halts so why they will ask for one marks why romeo wanted to watch a place of halt place of stand because and touching us be blessed by rune hand touching us blessed by rune hand which means okay julie romeo wanted to touch her hand and me bless this rude hand because romeo was an army man so his hands become rude became rude that is rough rough because using weapons so that is why he wanted to okay touch her hand and get blessed his rude hand because she has got a soft hand and did my heart love till now for swear it side so here romeo himself questions that till then did he saw true beauty true love so did the true love emerge from his heart and says till then no he might have come across many girls but the true love did not emerge from his heart and it's sight for i never saw true beauty till this night so true beauty is compared is said to whom is addressed to whom again here juliet so juliet is a, is called a true beauty okay last line for i never saw true beauty till this night so he never seen the true beauty till that night okay so hope you all have understood the first 10 lines that is description of juliet by romeo okay so kindly go through the text once and in the interactive session we shall discuss the important questions also one marks four marks as well six marks okay very important chapter to uh, now start fine thank you students